Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for October 20th, 2013. It's 8.15 a.m. It's a Sunday morning. We're all getting ready for some football today. Temperatures throughout the region range from the lower to mid 40s over the northern interior, mid to upper 40s over much of the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. The one warm spot is over Long Island around Islip at 52 degrees. So we are dealing with a much cooler air mass after our cold front has gone through. The good news is that we have clearing skies to clear skies throughout the entire region with the wind from the west and northwest anywhere from about 5 to 15 miles per hour. Overall, not bad at all. A little bit cooler than what we've been used to, but still manageable. Temperatures today are going to rebound nicely into the lower to mid 60s throughout the entire region, which is pretty much near normal for this time of year. So, a tranquil, near normal fall day. Very nice for October. For our latest surface map, here is the uh, high pressure system building into the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. Now, you see this, uh, these lines here that are packed. This is what's called a pressure gradient. Now this pressure gradient will slowly decrease leading to our winds also weakening around 5 to 10 miles per hour this afternoon as high pressure continues to build in. This high pressure system will remain in control throughout the entire day today and into tomorrow producing very nice tranquil weather conditions. And our radar currently shows no precipitation anywhere near the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. However, See this up here? This is what's called lake effect. What that basically means is cold air is moving over some very warm waters over the Great Lakes. And that leads to development of precipitation, thus lake effect showers. Now, temperatures are still in the 40s in these areas, thus it's pretty much rain showers. Could be a few snowflakes mixed in to the north of Syracuse, right around Oswego. But uh, nothing that will be a threat for the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan areas. And on our infrared satellite picture, you can see that cold front clearly exiting out into the Atlantic with clear skies from the New Jersey coast all the way back to the Ohio River Valley. So it's going to be a very nice day today. This area right here is our next cold front that will move through on Tuesday with another wave of low pressure on Wednesday spawning off the coast that could produce a few scattered showers. So let's take a look at the latest model guidance from the Penn State eWall website. This, of course, is the European model guidance. And here we are for today. Our trough is being established. High pressures in control. Temperatures throughout the region in the lower to mid 60s. For tomorrow, high pressure will shift off the coast ahead of that uh, cold front approaching. Low temperatures tomorrow morning will range from the upper 30s to lower 40s over the interior. Could be a few lower to mid 30s mixed in over the secluded valleys over in New Jersey, northeastern Pennsylvania, the Hudson River Valley. So if you have any plants outside, please bring them inside. Temperatures along the coast for lows range anywhere from the lower to mid 40s. For highs tomorrow, with high pressure in control and scattered cloud cover expected, temperatures will rebound nicely into lower to mid 60s throughout the entire region. Mid-60s can be expected really for the immediate Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan areas, your urban locations. For Tuesday, this is where it starts to get interesting. The cold front moves through. We'll deal with some scattered showers. Nothing too crazy, but uh, again, you know, you're going to definitely notice this cold front passage as winds shift to the northwest and temperatures start to fall. On Tuesday, look for... Low temperatures in the upper 40s to lower 50s throughout the entire region with a southwesterly wind. The afternoon, look for early afternoon high in the lower to mid 60s, and then temperatures start to fall off into the 50s and 40s as we move into the evening hours. On Wednesday, we're going to have a wave of low pressure develop right along the coast. It's going to be because, well, let's backtrack one second. See this disturbance right here? This disturbance is going to catch up to the cold front moving off the coast. And what that's going to do is spawn a little weak area of low pressure that's going to develop right off of the Virginia coastal waters and basically race right towards the New England coastal waters. This is what's called a secondary low pressure system, not a primary low pressure system. We know that because the strongest upper level feature, the upper level low, is located well up into Quebec, right with our primary low pressure system around the Hudson Bay. 
So this weak secondary low pressure system will produce a few scattered showers along the coast on uh, Wednesday. Look for possibly a little bit of snow mixed in over the higher terrain above 1,000 feet. This is not a major event at all in any way, shape, or form. Okay, just a few scattered showers, nothing major, and you could see a flurry or two. That's about it. Once that cold front, once that low pressure system moves through, high pressure would take control. But the main story here is not the low pressure system, it's the temperatures. Temperatures on Wednesday will range from the lower to mid 40s for lows along the coast, upper 30s to lower 40s over the interior. Okay, not too bad. But high temperatures are going to struggle in the upper 40s to lower 50s over the interior and lower to mid 50s along the coast, which roughly is about 10 degrees below normal. High pressure would take control for Thursday, Friday, and really you can move that off into Saturday. High pressure in complete control leading to scattered cloud cover, comfortable weather conditions. Temperatures, though, will range from the Upper 30s to lower 40s for lows along the coast. Mid 30s over the interior. Could be a few lower 30s mixed in there as well. High temperatures throughout the entire region will range from the lower to mid 50s over the Philadelphia metropolitan area. Lower 50s over the New York City metropolitan area. Could be a few mid 50s mixed in in Long Island. And then over in the interior, upper 40s to lower 50s for highs through the entire forecast period. So this is going to be a much colder air mass that's going to be building in with temperatures averaging anywhere from about 5 to 10 degrees below normal for this time of year. And as I look at the forecast through the day 7 through 10 period, really I don't see anything to indicate we're going to be warming up anytime soon. So uh, expect temperatures to remain in the 40s and 50s through at least the end of October, probably to start in November too. That is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. Remember, tomorrow I'll be issuing the winter forecast, probably before 4 p.m., with the complete details on everything to expect for this upcoming winter, and more importantly, why I'm expecting them. You're going to learn what's going to be driving the winter weather pattern, what could go wrong, leading to some disappointed people, and what I'm seeing that will go very much right for this upcoming winter if you like snow. So I'll have all those details, all for the public, all for free. And also I'll be introducing a new membership for individuals who are just interested in the winter storm and not necessarily the long range weather pattern. I'll have all that and more coming up tomorrow. It's gonna to be an exciting day. Of course you can follow the latest weather information at nynjpaweather.com and nynjpaweather on Twitter and Facebook. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe out there.